Hey, it's Wes, and we are back once again today. I've really been looking forward to this drop. It's uh, definitely, as a nerd growing up, something that whenever I first heard about this, I was like, yeah, whenever that comes out, I have got to play it. I love Strixhaven, don't get me wrong, but the opportunity to be able to play some Forgotten Realms is just something that I cannot pass up. So we are going to jump into a premiere draft. I have got a token entry. And I'm, of course, trusting in MTG Arena Assistant because I am terrible at doing these. So let's jump right in. I am ready. I, I think most of us as kids, if you played Magic the Gathering, odds are you probably played D&D as well. Uh, the funny thing about it is I was really big into Battletech, which is also a pen and paper game. And, oh no, there's absolutely no ratings on anything. Ah, oh, that sucks. That's all right. That dude looks awesome. So let's just do our best here with what we do know of the game in general. Um, hmm. That dude looks awesome. We're going to take him. Sounds good to me. Yeah, these dungeons are mind-boggling. They really are. Uh, let's see. Take portable hole. Kind of a little bit of uh, mixed color, but we're so early, it's really going to be kind of hard to say. I do expect this to go a little slower because brand new, so not a lot of people are going to know exactly what they want to pick up yet. You know, I'm looking at this, and in all honesty, my actual um, primary belief is that creatures in, in this particular format are very, very valuable, and removal is very, very valuable. Um, I hate to say big, fat creatures, but in a lot of ways, it's exactly what we're talking about. Uh, this here, I can definitely see that being a nice card. I don't know if it justifies being picked this early dire wolf prowler oh man that's great I like him already. Um, ooh, that's nice. Go ahead and pick up Goblin Javeliner again. Nice little bit of uh, slay, as they used to call it. 
Ooh, a green dragon. Beautiful. Celestial unicorn. I like this already. Very nice. Yeah, with this guy here, I think that a creature horde is really the right way for me to go. Um, with his ability, if I've got a lot already sitting in my graveyard i could definitely really make quite the impact with this card i wonder how he would work with ember cleave all right like in this set already. Ooh, shapeshifter. Very nice. Now, one thing about the whole rolling a d20, I'm, I'm not sure how that's going to work in game here, but I am very, very curious and want to see how it does come out. Uh, you... Nice. Trying to pick that Pegasus. Mm, kind of at that point where I don't really have a lot of interest in what I'm seeing. Portable hole, I'll probably put, throw it down here on the sideboard as well. Ooh, Potion of Healing. That's always nice. Uh, it's a white, inspiring bard. Man. And Null Hunter. Four four flying with ward. Oh man, that's basically just sing here. Yeah, that that's that's kind of a no no brainer there. Um, the casting cost seems fairly high, but he's also got ward as well. For a non angel, non demon, non devil, non dragon creature. Wow, that's a a lot of. Hmm. It's removal. It's, I don't like how specific it is. But I mean, you know, how common is angels? How common are demons? How common are devils and dragons? Um, I know I've got a handful, I think, of dragon warrior and such. Depending on how the erotic... Oh. oh my gosh. I would be absolutely stupid to not take that. All right. Two damage and creates a token. Like that. That one. Freaking Tiamat. Nice. Oh, it's beautiful. Hmm. 
Mm. Definitely a multicolored player all of a sudden. <laughs> I do like this card. Pain Death, I like that. That right there, honestly, made it all worth that one card. You know, that's probably one of the cards most people is going to be dreaming about and thinking, hey, that is the card I want. Um, kick in the door. I will go ahead and take it. You know, I used to intentionally, like, if I was already red, black, and if I saw a better card that was a color that, you know, wouldn't fit in what I'm doing, I would oftentimes draft it just to get the better card. But now I'm kind of like, you know what? And I think this just kind of comes with age. I'd rather pick something that might have a chance of making my deck or have a better chance of making my deck. Like for instance, Tiamat in this particular format is probably not that great. But in general though, that is a very, very powerful card. It's got its downsides, don't get me wrong. I love some of the names of these cards. They're just phenomenal. Trying to figure out how would I make this work in a deck. Got to use the treasure tokens. Tiamat in any dragon deck is just going to be a great addition. Thinking of the Strixhaven card, I can't think of it right now, but it has to deal with dragons. Hmm. Zombie Ogre. Hmm. Bolo Guide to Monsters, Human Wizard. Yeah, I think this guy here. Not going to make my cut, I don't think, but I think overall a very, very solid card. Wow, he was just in the last one.
just so I can flex on people and be like, I got this. Yeah, we're going to have to pump up the uh, treasure tokens. I don't know, to roll a d20 and get a 20 is going to be pretty, pretty uncommon, pretty rare. I think that that dwarf will be good in this deck too. I think I've already got one. Yeah, brazen dwarf. Pretty cool. I like the concept. I like the idea behind it. He's cheap. It's a one three, and he does damage to you opponents just by doing something that's worked into the game. I think that's phenomenal. It's just not even right. Dragon fire cost two. You could be dealing, like if you've got a Tiamat in hand, you could be dealing seven damage. A monk class. Elf cleric. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that was available. I don't know. Let's see. Here we got. Beholder. Thieves tools, definitely. You'll kick in the door. Zombie ogre. Monk class or the basilisk. Uh, we'll take monk class. Good old inspiring bard. All right, so we've got Feign Death and yeah, how are we gonna make this work? Um, hmm. I am gonna do some trimming and we will be back after a bit. All right, so here is what we are working with. We have got two of the Feign Death, two of the jo Goblin Javelineers, uh, Horde Robber, Power Word Kill, Thieves Tools, Brazen Dwarf, Dragon Fire, Kalane, 
I guess. I have no idea. He does stuff with treasure tokens, which we need. Um, this guy. <laughs> Valor Singer. <laughs> um, yeah. Plundering Barbarian. We definitely need the ability to be able to get more treasure tokens. Uh, Hoarding Ogre. Treasure token again. This guy here. Uh, first guy I got. I really still like this card. Um, once again, treasure tokens from this character as well. It's rolling a D20, and I'm not going to lie to you. That's going to be pretty hard to hit the 20 itself. Um, Westgate Regent, which is a lot like Singir. And Swarming Goblins, once again, creating tokens. Um, Earth Cult Elemental, uh, of course, rolling a D20. Um, TMI, that's why we want all of the um, ability to be able to create these tokens, is mostly for TMI. Uh, the... The stuff here, I just, I don't know. I don't like how this is, but it's what we're going to try to roll with. And I really feel that personally, Tiamat is a great card, but in this type of format, a 40 card standard deck, in a draft, may not really be the right thing. But we will see. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, this Horde Robber, I think, is a uh, very nice touch. Little dragon in the background, that's pretty cool. Get him into play. There we go, we got ourselves at least our first treasure token. Um, you could argue that, yeah, I probably should have played this guy first. Definitely some truth in that. I love the background here. I wonder if you can wake him up. Yeah, he's looking at me like he ain't too happy with me. <laughs> Plundering Barbarian. Let's see here. When he comes into play, you can create a treasure token or should we go ahead and drop him? You know what? We will go ahead and get him into play. Oh, we cannot. What? Hey, with treasure? No, I don't want to do that. I'm not paying with treasure. What? I'm not sure what it means. Forget about it. Here, take this. All right, well, a little bit of learning curve here, I guess. Um, next, and we will now go ahead and attack with this painter dude. All right, we're already winning. We're going to drop the Thieves tools on the Horde Robber just so we can start popping these up. Get those built up even quicker. go go next and we won't attack with him all right so it should not be able to be blocked and we will in turn that'll allow us to build these up if we draw Tiamat hopefully we can actually get her in play um, a black, red, blue, the green and white, which these would cover that. And
Yeah, that sucks. No blocks. One red, let's go with the blue and one black. Go, and we will go next. And we will, I doubt that's gonna make a difference. Feels bad, in turn. Look on the little dragon. Treasure tokens are massive in this release. I can see that already. I'm sitting here thinking about my Prismari deck and how it's going to change and impact with that. Okay, we got our mountain. I will go ahead and get the Wandering Barbarian into play. And we will pry it open to create that. And we'll go ahead and cast this fella into play. There we go. Very nice. Go with next and attack with... Well, hmm... I'll have to wait. Need to block that guy, probably block him with my Barbarian. I've got the ability to be able to get Tiamat into play now, I just need to get him into my hand. That's going to be kind of the thing, you know, it's, it's just one card, so to build an entire deck around just one card, that's a little tough. But, at the same time, you know, most of the rest of this is kind of like your traditional slay aggro type deck so hopefully it can kind of maintain its own until you can draw the one card kind of funny to think about in those terms but it is what it is ah the mimic Got ourselves another mountain and we will go ahead and drop this guy into play Need a black and one, two, three, four. Very nice. Um, next. Uh, well played. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Well played. In fact, he had two of those. It was just... Wow. Lord Robert. I'm just going to block with him. There's nothing he can really do at this point. I don't really have any removal necessarily. Get him into play. One, two, three, four. That cost six mana. One, two, three, five. Thieves tools. Um, 
go ahead and attach that to him. Next. Yeah, we're not doing so well in this one. He's just... On top of us, most of the game, I've not really felt as though I've really had any moments where I was actually uh, in a superior spot to his positioning. It just is what it is. Um, you know, as much as I try to keep up on everything, I just don't have the time to really keep up on all the minor details and all the parts of the release that I'm just not familiar with. It just kind of one of those things. And that was a pretty good play by him. I was able to get rid of just uh, the hired hex blade. Really kind of makes me want to get back into D and D of all things. It'd be a good time. Any day. Power word kill. Yeah, we need to take him out. No attacks. Um, in turn. Attacks with the zombies, I'll block them. Hopefully he doesn't have some kind of trick up his sleeve. Oof. I suspect he's got something up his sleeve to be able to back with that. Well, I guess not. Unless it's some kind of sorcery after the fact. Either way, unless I start drawing some uh, creatures, I'm not going to be in the best of spots. All right, so we can use two of these to power him up to a 5-5. Five five. There we go. That's really what we were needing, some kind of strong monster to be able to help keep them um, a little more in line, no attacks. And in turn, now, if I left two, I've still got black, red, blue, so that'd be my white and my green for my mana if I did pull Tiamat. Um, That's a big shock. That's the one I would have pulled back. 
getting that thing gone last time took a lot. There we go. Pay with treasure. I wish I had more, but this this format, obviously, it's just not really conducive for that kind of stuff. Um, two turns, he's dead. That's just absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> I think that's really awesome. Two turns, he's dead. The question is, can I actually get to that point? Because he has got one, two, three. He's got a lot of creatures. Um... Got a block. I'm just in a bad spot because if I attack, really not a lot I can do. Um, hate to say it that way. Yeah, he's got lethal damage on me, so I can't attack. He's got two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten damage sitting there. So even though I want to attack, I just can't do it. I need either some form of removal, something to help get some of his creature horde down. Oh, great. That's always a wonderful uh, looking thing. Yeah, if you use the treasure tokens, you can pump her up quite a bit as well. That's absolutely phenomenal. Um, I've got to kill it. Otherwise, it's just going to keep chipping and pecking at me. I just hope that I can actually draw a uh, creature card that's actually worth having in play. It's sad to have a Tiamat and basically just not really be able to use it because you're just having to use it as a blocker. There we go. She had vigilance, it'd be a different story. Yeah. All right, one more hit on him, and he is done. I have got two blockers. Well, yeah. I've got two blockers. Um, okay, well, I know I have to block him if he attacks with that one. I think I just won. Unless he's got something up his sleeve. Nope. He did not. Wow. <laughs> that was fantastic. Very nice. Very nice. I'm pretty happy with that. All right. Let's go.
that last match, Tiamat really, to be quite honest, saved the match. Um, if we didn't have her, obviously we wouldn't have won. Of course, we only have one in our deck. The likelihood of actually pulling her is pretty slim in the first place. Uh, we are going to keep this, definitely. Um, are you dropping that Paladin class? We'll get our boy out here. We'll go ahead and punch him in the face. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm really shocked that last game I actually pulled it out. Uh, and yeah, it just happens that way sometimes. Ooh, Vigilance, uh, very nice card. Um, Slinger. Oh man, that's pretty cool how it does that. Uh, block here. And let's see here. Flying trample. One, two, three. I don't know. Yeah, I'll pay X, zero, get him into play. Uh, we won't attack. We're, we're at an advantage here, so no reason to attack. He may have some form of removal. There was some cheap removal, definitely. That's rough. Mm, no attacks, he's got a slight advantage there. Man. This is a lot like Sing Gear, but better. It really is. If this works the way that I'm thinking it's going to work. Makes me feel sad, but at the same time, it set him up to be able to come and do his thing. All right. Goblin Swarm. Hey. Very nice. He doesn't have reach on anything, so that's always good. See exactly how his ability works here real quick. That's what I thought. Nice. Very nice. So barring some form of removal from him, I don't think he has too many options at this point.
Oh, that's a nice card. Cheap. Two drop. It's Death Touch. I'll just chump block it. Throw down a swamp. Um, go ahead and get that one into play. That way we can chump block a second time. And we will go next, put it on to him, and of course we will attack. And that should make him, yeah, that's fantastic. I cannot believe this card. This is great. I love it. You know, it's a lot like seeing gear, but better. It really is. Casting cost is high, but man, I think this is one of those cards that, yep, it's one of those cards you're going to have to really look out for. Be back with the next match. All right, we are back once again. Uh, we are right now two wins, zero losses. We have got some very, very solid cards in our uh, deck. So we've been pretty lucky so far that we're getting what we're needing when we need it. And I'm pretty happy with how far we've gotten in this draft. I'm not going to lie. I suck at drafting. <laughs> but I got lucky. I really did. I was able to recognize a couple of them that were just absolute bombs and was able to snatch those up. And, of course, having Tiamat is just absolutely phenomenal. And looks like this guy must be okay. Ooh, that's pretty. All right, we get our mountain into play, and then we'll drop our swamp and get him into play. There we go. Very nice. To be able to get Tiamat out, we have to have the treasures uh, pumping up. That's really all there is to it. As much as I want to block him, I don't really see a reason why. And we've got Tiamat. Very nice. All attack. Right, getting our mountain into play. Um, have to wait till next turn because I don't want to sacrifice this. I want to save it up. He's sitting at just two mana. That's rough. Hey, when that happens, it's one thing to have to fight, you know, against a competitor. It's a whole other situation wherever you have to fight against your own deck. There we go. Ah, two. <laughs> Next. All attack. There we go. And in turn. And we'll go ahead and drop in that and we are not going to pay with treasure, obviously. One, two, three. And I'm hoping to get some treasure tokens because that would be great. I will go ahead and drop him into play as well. Um, yeah, we may as well all attack. I'm going to take six, three, four, five. So we are going to activate his ability. Okay. I've got Tiamat in hand, but I really don't think I am even going to get close to having to... Uh, 
casting, to be honest. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. All right, we are sitting at three wins, zero losses so far. Uh, we've really kind of gotten lucky with our our draw so far. Um, I tried to mostly draw, you know, what we would have known back in the day as slay your aggro type style, and I actually did get lucky in pulling some of the very very strong powerful cards that. Uh, are really kind of bread and butter for this particular release. Tiamat, of course, being one of them. And I got a couple others as well. Not quite sure how that works. Does it do one damage before it does its attack damage? So it wouldn't die? We'll find out. I'll eventually see it get blocked by something like this and then we'll know. Dragon Turtle. Oof. It's a nice card. 3 5 for 3 mana. <laughs> and it's got an ability. That's absolutely amazing. He is uh, coming out pretty hard and heavy. Um. Got 9 damage coming in. Oh no. Double strike? First strike, okay. Ooh, that was rough. You get him into play. Um, oh, I gotta sacrifice permanent. That really sucks. Yeah, I think this is GG. Yep. That would be GG. Wow, that was quick playing. That is our first. All right, we are back with our next match. Um, got our first loss. I think three wins, one loss. That ain't bad. Love this card already. Uh, Horde Robber is great. This Fane Death is fantastic also. Last match uh, really just played very, very quick. And by the time I would have even gotten into any of the cards I would have really needed for the match, the match was more or less almost already over. It happens. That's, that's part of magic. That's why you play the game. Because even, you know, this game is a very, very rock, paper, scissors aspect to it. But just because of that it's true doesn't mean that it's true all the time. Go ahead and attack. See if he blocks. He does. And... There we go. Very nice little trick. Skullport Merchant. All right, we've got Reclusive Painter, and we've got that one. He may let it through, you never know. And he didn't. <laughs> 
Now, by no means am I great at, at what I'm doing here. I just really got lucky. Um, in that first match, I, to be honest, I really should have probably lost. Had I not drawn Tiamat and actually been able to get it into play, I would have lost that first match. I hate that card so much. Wan Ti Fang Blade. Okay. Yeah, we will go ahead and use Treasure on him just to get him into play. Give him a 5-5. Five, five. Uh, so he actually can attack without having some form of removal. We are then looking at a 10-10, and then after that, a 20-20. There is definitely removal, obviously. Uh, he was able to remove it. Feels bad. Oh, let's see here. Power word kill. We want to take out that one there. Attack with both. Some of it will get through. Okay. It's a pretty cool card. Part of my problem is I've only got one swamp so far. And we're going to have to lay off on the attacks now. Tiefling Cleric, that's pretty cool. Nice. And we won't attack. I'm kind of surprised he popped that that quick. Oh, well, I guess if you had more in your hand, yeah. We've been able to go wide to match him. Um, that sucks. Ourselves a plane. May as well activate the ability. And no attacks. If I can get Thieves tools on him, that'd be great. Good old Tiefling Rogue. I've got pretty much, I mean, in all honesty, I've got more or less everything I would need, I think, to get him into play. Hmm. 
Oh, wow. We put Death Touch on that. Block one of the other ones. He's going to try to just wear me down through the usage of his uh, skeletons, of course. I can't blame him. It's a good idea. Definitely didn't need that. I need some kind of evasion of some sort. Block that one, and we're just going to gang block that one. It's starting to get kind of ridiculous. He's just going to be able to keep pumping those things out with those. So unless I pull something that actually can either help me remove some of this threat, there's not much I can really do. Ugh, array of Enfeeblement. Well, that sucks. Hmm. Okay, so one, two, three, four, it's twelve. I'm gonna drop that and Yeah, he's got just enough damage. It is what it is. All right, that is our second loss. So we'll be back. All right, we're sitting at three wins, two losses. So this could well be the last match for us. We've got Tiamat in hand right off the bat. That's nice. Uh, we will go ahead and keep this. Um, not necessarily the best hand starting out, but given the format, it's just kind of one of those things you kind of have to take what you can get sometimes. Um, 40 card decks and trying to squeeze in something like this monster, you just got to kind of roll with the punches. Uh, cool. Get him into play. That's so good. Um, I half suspect he's got something in hand, so we're not going to block. There we go, and get him into play as well. Barring some kind of gang block, I think we're fine. All right, let's see where we are at. There we 
here we go get ourselves a little bit of help blocking um, we are only going to attack with just the horde robber that way we can trigger its ability oh gross all right cool We're pretty close to being able to get the amount into play. We pull a an island. That's what one, two, three, four. An island. And with this here, uh, we might be able to pull it off. Yucky. Let's got first strike. We need to just chump block that one. And ooh, first strike. That is rough. Um, wow. I don't really have anything that can really stand up to it. So we're just going to gang block it to get rid of it. All right, we're going to go ahead and get Tiamat into play. Auto pay. Very nice. I wish I had more dragons. <laughs> um, attacks. We are not going to attack. We will wait till next turn, and then we'll just start beating this guy down with Tiamat. Two hits, and it's lethal. Um, barring some form of removal, or all of a sudden him pulling out some reach. We pull uh, Valor Singer out. She should be able to trigger to get that plus one also next turn. So make it an 8-7 with flying. That's fantastic. Frog. Oh, what? All right, so that's Trample. Uh, we'll just block this with this one. Um, kill that with that. And take these out right like that. So we ate four damage. So that would be 8, 9, 10, 10 damage, roughly. If I attacked with everything, um, go ahead and equip that onto him. Actually, we'll wait. So one more hit, and he is done. Uh, we will gladly sacrifice these guys for the greater good. None of his damage is getting through. Tiamat is an absolute lifesaver. Ooh. Maybe. Maybe she is. Hmm. He may have got me. Yeah, because if I attack, it will kill. Yeah, I think I've lost. Sucks, but it is what it is. Um, we'll go out attacking. We'll go down swinging. So, yep. Didn't expect him to pull out a dragon, so it's just kind of one of those deals. And we'll earn turn. Give me the old good game. That ends our run. So, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Not going to lie, um, from what little bit of studying and everything that I'd seen leading into this, I'm uh, I'm more than overthrown how well I've done. Because I'm not, if you follow my channel much, you know, I don't update tons of drafting. I'm not a great drafter, and I will flat admit that. But I'm excited about this. Let's see what we got. 
pop some packs. Oh, very nice. Oh, nice. Hey, that's my second one of him. That's cool. Oh, fantastic. All right. Well, I appreciate you all tuning in, and I hope you all have a great